What's up, college football fans and Mean Green fans? Sonoy Valente here once again with the Mean Green Show. Today, joined by Miles, and we are going to kind of jump into the last official visit of this recruiting cycle for the North Texas Mean Green, and you know, kind of some some people they have on campus who they are showing around and kind of speculate of where we think these last few commits may may end up, whether it's North Texas or somewhere else. But anyway, as always, before we get into all of that, you guys already know the drill. If you're a fan of college football or G5 football, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because that's truly all that we talk about. Miles, thank you so much for jumping on. How have you been? And, you know, just kind of how's life treating you? Well, I've been good. I've been, uh, I've just been so busy. I've been trying to, our schedules just keep on colliding with each other, but, um, I'm glad to be back on it. It's, it's been a very busy past week for North Texas athletics, mainly football. Uh, it's really good. It's really good seeing coach O and coach Morris tweet out those little, little emojis. That's when you know the day is going to be good, but um, I, I'm really excited to see what this uh, signing day class, hopefully we see a few more commits. I feel like we will. I feel like we'll see a few more. Um, it, it, it's shaped up to be a little bit better than I thought. I thought we were in a little worse shape uh, when early sign day it, of course we were because you know you know we all know how I'm, I'm i have more of a optimistic uh future for what this recruiting staff can do because so far they've proved if with that mainly with uh taylor sterling is that was yeah, Ta- taylor, yeah sterling, taylor sterling if we could somehow flip him from texas state that just that just shows that this staff is legit in a way so far um so I, i'm excited to see what they have up their sleeve the next uh four days so yeah. Yeah. So obviously there's three, three, three athletes that are targeting from South Oak cliff that we'll, we'll talk about too. One of them being Dylan Brown Turner, who unfortunately is currently on his official visit at Florida state. And obviously that's, that's a hard hurdle to, to overcome when you're going head to head for, for someone um, against Florida state. Also with him, having his last visit the last weekend of official visits it that's going to be tough you know if they can somehow some way hold on to his verbal commitment as of now that would be super impressive i just i don't know i i don't know that's gonna be tough if i had to guess i'd probably guess he ends up at florida state but we'll have to see how how it pans out for you know at the end of everything else but yeah focusing on taylor starling though i know coach trailer and i believe the db coach were up there visiting him and currently verbally committed to Texas State. I don't think he's on the official visit this weekend, but I think the trio, him and Keith Smith and Dylan Brown Turner, all came a few weekends back, if I'm remembering correctly. I think it was, I think it was so last weekend. It, maybe last Pretty weekend. Sure. It was either last weekend or the weekend before that because I saw the pictures that they had. Uh, so I know that they had a visit recently, but I'm excited to see what South Oak Cliff pipeline down the future for sure. Yeah, it would be it'd be awesome to land all three of those. If we could get the trio, that would be that would be tremendous. But uh, you know, even even just Starling and Keith Smith, that would still be you know a really successful outing. I feel like, especially with such a powerhouse that South Oak Cliff is now becoming, uh, going back to back state championships here. <clears throat> so that's something to keep your eye on. I you know I I can't help but wonder. I mean, you know, it happens in the pow- the Power Five that you know NIL step in and. You know, there's this story. I mean, I just wonder if any of these NILs are going to kind of come in when it comes to the recruits at this point. I'm not saying I think they will or I think they won't. It's just something that, you know, these these are some coveted recruits that all these Texas schools want. So it'll it'll be interesting to see, you know, how how it how it pans out. One guy that I kind of want to talk about too, who's on his official visit today, is the safety out of North Shore. Uh, not Evan Jackson, but oh uh, goodness, Jaden Anderson. Uh, he's pretty highly Javen Anderson. Pretty Javen highly Anderson. Rated. Yes, Javen Anderson. Yeah, pretty highly rated on all the all the sites on three twenty four seven composite, and um, you know, one of the higher higher ranked guys that we potentially have a shot at here, and kind of like Dylan Brown Turner. I mean, we kind of get him on his in our favor for this one, though. Obviously, that he's on his last official vi- visit the last weekend uh, at North Texas. So hopefully that that pans out well. Uh, got a long list of offers and you know I don't know what what's kind of happened with that but I mean you got the Texas offer and, and a lot of others so to be able to potentially get him in this class would be would be great at a position that you know just you get as many DBs as you can but you have any insight on Javen Anderson 
Not a whole lot, but what I do know is that it isn't no matter if you do not get them or not, if you don't get these higher caliber recruits or not, having them on visits is more important and something that we have not seen this past few years. Getting guys on campus, showing them what we have, you know, it it might not persuade them every single time, but you're gonna you're gonna strike gold at least once or twice in, in a whole recruiting cycle if you keep on going at these bigger guys. Because you look at what talent we have in Denton, what talent there is in North Shore down in Houston, the talent you have in, in DFW area, there is so much potential to have guys on campus and there's more persuasion with the NIL, like you said, uh, to have them uh, you know, possibly commit just verbal, something in a way that North Texas has not done in the past few years. But uh, Jamie Anderson, I mean, he's, he's really legit. And you said he has like, I think he's offered from Texas, a lot of, a lot of really solid schools. So I think it's very um, – it's an important uh, recruit to have on campus for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm on the Go Mean Green board right now. I'm just going to read off all of the the official visits for, for this weekend. And it's Javen Anderson, Desmond, Magia, Magaya. I'm not sure out of McKinney. Offensive Magia, tackle. Yeah. Uh, Colin Lewis out of Gladewater, Texas. Defensive back, wide receiver. That's a big one right there. Yeah, Matthew Moore. Out of Colleen, linebacker, Joseph Kim, kicker out of Oklahoma, Wes Wilson out of Lovejoy, tight end defensive. So those are the guys who are at least on the board. We're not, maybe there's some others. I'm not sure. Um, but another one is that Colin Lewis guy, the defensive back wide receiver. He's got, you know, he's got some good offers. He was one, one point committed to Texas State. I think he maybe decommitted whenever the coaching uh, switch happened there. So that's the one to keep your eye on. And, <clears throat> you know, Maybe another kicker too, you know. I mean, that's that's something that you're losing a guy like Ethan Mooney that you know you want to try to get a couple guys in to potentially potentially have, right? I agree. And the Baylor kicker that uh, committed to us the other day, I, that's a very big uh, commit just for the fact that he's had a little bit of experience. He's has the the Power Five level of um, experience seen on the field. Um, I think he was the kickoff specialist. If that's why I read right, was he the kickoff specialist for Baylor? I don't think he was a PAT guy. But yeah. I'm pretty sure he he was involved in some way, and, that, and that's all that matters really. If we can get another guy that has consist- consistency of Mooney uh, in any way, uh, we'll be really set. And and honestly, just getting the special teams with with Coach, how do you say his name um, from Alabama? The special teams coach. Oh yeah, he is really. I don't know how you say this, but I really don't know how you say it. Uh, but he is he's he is really really legit, and I, I he's gonna have those guys really set. Special teams has been our better feature ish in the past few years. Coach Coach P did a really good job, um, especially with you know he has the weapons like Horton, and now he gets this kicker, and he has um, I, we do not have a punter. I forgot Bernardo Rodriguez is uh, was a senior, so he's gone. But I feel like this is going to be a much stronger group uh, on special teams for sure. Um, I just want, I'm just excited to see how they recruit different type of players because North Texas didn't quite recruit a lot of special teams slash you know guys that will put in different roles. They kind of just put guys in different roles that were already on the team. They didn't really recruit different roles because um, Mooney was here with since 2018. He's been the only kicker 2019. Yeah, I think so. Uh, something like that. Sole kicker in 2019, I think. 18, something like that. You know, I think Cole Headland was here in 2018. Uh, but no, whatever, that didn't really matter. Uh, but so far, they've offered some really, really talented guys. And, and and if we can continue to land at least three or four by, was it Wednesday or Tuesday? It's Wednesday. Wednesday, um, yeah. It's Wednesday. If we can land three or four by Wednesday, I think we're this is going to be really set, especially for uh, fall camp. Yeah, kind of last question before we jump off here. So do you think we'll see, at least for the official visits, or you know, even the, the pending offers that are out, that we'll see any – verbal commitments prior to Wednesday or do you think everyone's at this point just going to wait till official signing day to kind of, you know, make, make things official. I feel like, uh, they, they'll, they'll probably tweet it out. You know, they'll probably put out all the little puzzles and, and, and check marks, but I bet most, I bet all of it will come on, on Wednesday. I, I just, usually that's what happens on early signing day too, <clears throat> unless it's, you know, early signing days is a bigger period to commit and during the whole season. But, um, I, I feel like it will be mo- most likely all of them on, uh, on Wednesday, hopefully, hopefully we get a good, decent amount, and yeah. they're all they're all talented, no matter what. We offer some really good guys, um, and in this cycle for sure, this second half of the 
um, National Signing Day period. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's going to be interesting for sure. So, all right, Miles, well, anything else we need to touch on before we hop off? Uh, I'm ready for spring football. I'm not going to lie. I'm really ready for spring football now. I'm ready to see what those guys got. A lot of those transfers, really excited to see what those transfers got. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting spring for sure. But all right, Miles, well, thank you for your time. And as always, go Mean Green. Go Mean Green.